Salt's not going mm. down. Why? Because I didn't you have told me salt. I was going to be going through salt galore. Correct. Okay, so the, hence your point yeah. that the, the, your equipment may not be working properly. Right. Or sized properly. Maybe the weekend warrior did go to the big box store, buy that piece of equipment, and it looks great in the basement right now. But is it the proper piece of equipment for that home? Because you mentioned having, you should have a professional. Um, and that it's not the kind of thing that you want to just go to a DIY store, purchase yourself and attempt. But the reality is that a lot of people do do that uh, annually. And amongst the DIY stores, this is one of the most frequently returned products is a water softener. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, Joe gets home, realizes he doesn't have the tools perhaps necessary to cut into his plumbing distribution system and connect all of you know what's necessary to connect a water softener and therefore aborts and returns the product and then calls one of us or worse calls Dan and asks to install that product that he <laughs> bought at the DIY store. You know it makes sense to me I mean I thought I could install my own water softener years ago uh, one of the first houses I bought I thought I'm just gonna go buy one and install it which I did yeah. but I didn't know what the hell it was doing whether or not it was actually doing something odds are it was doing something right. but was it doing enough? Well, how do you even know what you need? I mean, if you're just deciding yourself to go to a DIY store, purchase a softener, put it in, you have, you've missed uh, the first most important step in the process, which was water what we did earlier, which was testing your water. You don't even know if the product that you're purchasing off of the shelf in the store will solve the issue that you're having at your residence. Uh, you shouldn't even do that if you live in the city yourself. You definitely shouldn't do it if you live uh, on a rural property and have your own well. You really want to have somebody come out there and test that water for you. Uh, Here's could what be, I, it could be something as simple as the, ad, the softener advertising that it will remove iron and up to a certain amount of iron. What people don't realize is there's different types of iron in water. And if the iron is ferric or ferrous or bacterial or colloidal, that softener will only really be effective against maybe one and with an additional filter, maybe two of those. Okay, which leads me to a question. Obviously, don't mess with your own water. What we don't know can hurt us. So that yeah. saying isn't so true. And cost us money. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm hearing the importance that I think every single home needs at least a filter on their system. Agreed? From our standpoint, 100%, yes. 100%. I, I agree with a that. A no-brainer. I would say that every single home in North America could be improved by having water filtration in the residence. Simple as that.